Welcome to the Picture Park How To Series. Today I want to show you how you can easily integrate Picture Park into your creative workflows with the Picture Park panel shown here. The first thing is it asks me to open up the Creative Connector. So let's do this. Therefore I have to fill in my URL and my credentials. So missed something. And now I can log in and my Creative Connector opens up. I have here my local file I have created, but there are some images missing. I need one here and I need my theme image on the top. So I know my theme, ima um, my theme image is a local image, therefore I choose Control and D. And I choose from my local resources my theme image. It will be placed here. Here I know I need one of the boxes we have, and this is in Picture Park. So I say place. Now I can select the asset I want. I go here to Creative Connector, go here to the info sheet, and there it is, my starter box. And I place it directly out of Picture Park. So now it looks a little bit better. When I go here to the image out of Picture Park, I can see some metadata which are defined especially for me. Now I can save my file and upload the whole info sheet into Picture Park. It takes the InDesign file and it takes the local file. The one out of Picture Park, of course, it is not again uploaded. So same here, start an info sheet, continue, choose where it shall be saved and this category, continue, choose the correct right, of course, and import it. While importing the files, it also creates a document. That means that uh, you not only have the InDesign file in Picture Park and not only the links out of the InDesign file, it's all mapped together automatically. So when I open this up here, you see this is the InDesign file and these are the images used in the InDesign file. In the preview, you see when I click on this image, the image opens up. Also the little one, of course, can directly access it. And I can download the InDesign original and also the print PDF that has been created by InDesign. And what about when one of the images changes in Picture Park while I'm working with it? Well, can easily show it. Here, take this one and say here, update the original file. Choose my original file, upload it. Or in general, another user would do this, of course. I'm just working with the InDesign and now take some time. When the original is then updated, I get an information in InDesign, which is really nice, so just take some time. There it is. I see a red light and I see it has been modified on a server. All I have to do now is go to links, click on the link and say update from server. And it gets me the new file that has been modified in Picture Park. Thanks for your attention.